Hello everyone and welcome to a really wild game that was played yesterday uh, as the, one of the games on Hikaru stream. It was suggested to me by a subscriber Dom, so thank you Dom for suggesting such a wonderful game. And uh, in this game Hikaru with the white pieces faces Mate Valeriu Mogrizan, uh, who is uh, a candidate master from Romania. Uh, I don't have a photo of the young gentleman, uh, but uh, 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 there is kind of one, I don't know if it's uh, the correct one, but he was much younger in that photo I was able to find online, so I'm using this photo of the X-Wing uh, that he's using on his chess.com profile. Uh, so without further ado, let's check it out as it's uh, very, very, uh, a, a very impressive game and also features uh, a similar gambit to the Evans Gambit. So uh, I know how much you guys, you guys are like obsessed with the Evans Gambit. So I thought you guys would enjoy this one. So here E4 by Hikaru, we have C5, uh, Valeri goes for the Sicilian defense and here the immediate B4. So the wing gambit is on the board, and I thought it, I thought it was really funny that um, uh, Mate has a, a, a profile photo of an X-wing uh, on Chess.com, and here Hikaru plays the wing gambit uh, against him. Uh, but okay, it's you know it's always nice when things work out. So here uh, the pawn is gambited away, much like you would do in an Evans gambit. So C captures on B4, and here A3, going for one further uh, uh, pawn uh, grab. And uh, this is the so-called martial variation of the uh, wing gambit. I almost said of the X wing <laughs> gambit. And uh, yeah, sorry about that. I have to fix the sound a little bit. So A3, trying to give up another pawn to get more pieces into the game. And here uh, D5 by Mogrizan. And it's a very principled thing to do. Uh, you just want to get your queen into the game. Usually the problem with moves like D5 uh, captures is that uh, once the queen recaptures knight, the C3 can immediately be used as a tempo to kick away the queen. However, here the presence of the B4 pawn prevents that, so D5 makes perfect sense. Uh, e captures and d5, we have queen captures, and now knight to f3. You have to be careful, if you play a weird move, then queen e5 check, and Hikaru would lose that rook on a1. So knight f3, of course he has to cover the e5 square, and now e5. Black is now ready to bring the bishop into the game, and also the bishop can recapture if a captures on b4 happens, which is exactly what Hikaru does. Now knight to c3 uh, can be played on the next move, and here bishop captures on b4. Uh, bishop to b2, fianchettoing the light square bishop, and now there's a double attack on the e5 pawn, so uh, uh, Valerio defends it. Uh, so knight to c6, and now rook to a4. And this is a, a very interesting move, uh, because in the wing gambit you will very often see uh, rook to a4 move, if black uh, allows white to open up the a-file. So this is a move that will always be played, because it puts pressure on the bishop and also the knight uh, has to uh, guard the bishop and also the e5 pawn. However, in this position it's actually a terrible blunder. So feel free to pause the video and find uh, a winning move for black here <laughs> while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting this uh, very nice winning idea. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's queen to e4 check. And it's uh, really weird because it aligns the queen with the rook here, but that's exactly what you want to do. And it really doesn't matter what white plays next. Queen to e2 just runs into queen captures on c2 and then black is dead lost. So best is bishop to e2, but now just bishop captures on d2 with check. You open a discovery towards Hikaru's rook and that's it. Queen captures, queen captures on a4 and black has more than enough to win this game. Even after uh, white, for example, captures on e5, you're just going to play knight f6, castle, and that's it. Black is uh, up the exchange, uh, uh, even up a pawn, so nothing to worry about for black here. So, uh, after this rook to e4, uh, this was definitely the winning idea. Queen to e4 check. However, uh, Amogrizan goes for b5. He wants to kick away the rook from here. And this is uh, actually something that happens quite often when you play this with the white pieces. Because black uh, very rarely encounters the wing gambit. Okay, maybe in blitz a, a bit more online. But it's a very... Uh, it's not represented all that well. So here b5 attacking the rook, but now uh, this is uh, bad for black. So feel free to pause the video and uh, find the move Hikaru played while I give you a couple of seconds. 
So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding the uh, the beautiful uh, exchange sacrifice. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's Rook captures on B4. So removing one of the defenders of the E5 pawn and then uh, Knight to C3 will come into the game with tempo. And then the pawn on B5 falls and so on. So Knight captures on B4, only move and now Knight to C3. Now with an attack on the Queen and also the B5 pawn, uh, of course you you have to be careful not to blunder the queen for example queen to c6 loses immediately to a move like this so queen to c5 is played and now bishop captures on b5 with check asking do you want to move the king to f8 or do you want to block with the bishop you're not castling this game uh, so either way uh, so bishop to d7 was played hikaru captured the king captures and here, uh, while well, you could open up the position with d4 right away, Hikaru decides to castle first. And now black needs to decide how, how to proceed here. Uh, do you try bring knight f6, bring the rook into the game, and then maybe artificially castle? Uh, but that's, that's a lot of moves. So here, black tried f6. Maybe he can also just uh, hide the king somewhere here, but Hikaru immediately opens up the center with the d4. And of course, uh, black doesn't want to allow an attack, so queen to d6, now hoping for d captures on e5, and queen captures queen. If black can trade queens, then it's going to be playable. However, here comes knight to b5. And how does one come to a move like knight to b5? Well, point is Hikaru wants to play d captures on e5. He, he wants it to happen without the black queen uh, in interrupting this discovery. So you have to take away the d6 and d5 squares from the black queen. So this is how Hikaru does it. A knight to b5. Now the black queen has only one square to remain on the d file. Queen to d5 and now of course c4. The queen is under attack. And now the queen has to leave the uh, the D file. So best to grab some material while while you're at it. So queen captures on C4, and now D captures on E5. Now there's a discovered check. We have queen back to D5, offering a trade. And here Hikaru goes queen to A4. Now offering uh, uh, threatening a lot of nasty discoveries here. So black needs to block. Knight to C6 is played, and now rook to D1. And the black queen is trapped. And here you can easily resign with black, uh, but we will show the rest of the game because it features uh, a, 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 a most special moment. So let's see how the game continued. Knight g to e7, and here queen to g4 check by Hikaru. There is always time to capture the queen since black can't really do anything about it. f5, and now comes rook captures on d5 with check. Knight captures on d5, queen captures on f5 with check, king to e8, and now queen to e6 with check. And uh, this is where the magic happens. Knight to d to e7, uh, Mogadizan blocks the check, and now comes knight to g5. Knight c7 check also uh, is a very nice uh, win. It's actually uh, checkmate in 11, uh, but it's, uh, you know, uh, knight g5 works just as well. So here, rook to c8, not allowing knight to c7. Sorry about the arrow. Uh, and now comes knight to f7. Here, knight to d4, attacking Hikaru's queen. And now, uh, feel free to pause the video uh, for the last time and find the forced mate in 4 for Hikaru while I give you a couple of seconds. So, uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting the, the amazing mate in 4. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, it's knight, D to, uh, knight F to D6 with check. Uh, the point is, uh, you have to be careful here. If you capture the knight, you might even get checkmated. So, of course, Hikaru will not fall for that. He finds the forced checkmating sequence, knight F to D6 with check. Now, if you go here, it's just queen to F7 checkmate. So, king has to go to d8, but now knight to b7 check. With this knight covering c7, the king has to go back. King to e8, and now knight 5 to d6 with check. And now with this squared covered by this knight, the king has no choice but to go to f8. King to f8 is played, and now queen to f7, a beautiful, beautiful uh, checkmating sequence. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's the game I want to show you guys. Uh, like I said, I know you guys are like obsessed with the Evans Gambit, so I decided to show you the Wings Gambit, as we haven't had all that many games regarding that. And uh, uh, really, really was funny that uh, Mogrizan has a profile photo of of an X-wing, and this game featured the uh, the Wing Gambit. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, I will uh, put a link to Hikaru's uh, stream in the description below if you want to watch the original of this game. It's the second game from the stream, so you can check that out as well. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you might, uh, uh, you know, uh, employ the uh, wing gambit. You know, if, you, if your opponent doesn't allow you to go for the Evans, you can always go for the wing gambit if your opponent plays the Sicilian defense. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would like to thank Donald J. Henrik, uh, Frank Combs, uh, Petar Adamovsky, uh, Claudia Van Wickler, and uh, Paolo Pavel for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the Morphe Saga, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.